Hey everybody, Mr. Hayer, your favorite scientist, and we are going to continue with some chemical physical changes. Whoa, you can see behind me, I have a pot of water. I'm boiling this water. I'm going to make some eggs in a little bit. Good for breakfast. Anyway, think about this water. If we get water boiling, what kind of change do you think that is? Is that a chemical change or a physical change? Talk to somebody next to you up here. Is it a physical change or a chemical change? Just boiling a pot of water. What do you think? And then while you're doing that, I'm going to bring up our station here. We're going to look at some steel wool. There's our steel wool. And if you take a look at it, hopefully you have a piece. Uh, your teacher should have a piece. Or even at home, you could have this is common item that's around the home. Uh, but you definitely want to use a piece that doesn't have any soap on it. So they use steel wool for like scrubbing dishes and things um, in restaurants or home, any type of cooking. Good to have some steel wool. And you can talk about the physical properties of the steel wool. And let's say I just take the steel wool and just start shredding pieces apart. What kind of change is that? Is that chemical or physical change of me just taking it all apart? Hmm, interesting. So what we're going to do with this today for this station is actually see what happens. Does it react to uh, the air and some other materials? So I have some vinegar. I can put a little vinegar in a cup. So I'm going to go ahead and put my steel wool in this cup here. And I'm going to open my vinegar. And then we're going to make our observations. So remember, we're going to make our observations and come back to it quite a few times. Just going to pour some of that. You could put this in any container. I'm just putting it in a cup right now. Um, but you could put it um, on a pan or a plate, uh, whatever, you, whatever you have. You don't need to let the vinegar soak. Um, all it has to do is just make good contact with it. And then if you have any excess vinegar you can go ahead and just get rid of excess vinegar so just pour that in another cup and then i'm going to observe so i'm just going to observe the steel wool over a couple days and see what happens hopefully you have a piece in your class you have a station so you can do that but we'll do that right here we'll uh come back to it in a little bit at the end of the day tomorrow Next day, kind of take a look at it and we'll note some changes. You do have a observation sheet um, that you can put all your data in. You can also put that in your science notebook. So there we go. We're going to see what kind of changes we get. Anything visual. Interesting about steel wool, if it does have a physical change, um, like I said, ripping it apart, but if it's a chemical change, um, we should see something visual a change of color or something like that. Um, also, a lot of times heat, which is hard sometimes. So what you could do um, is you could cover this cup. That's why I like put it in a cup. You could put like um, some plastic wrap around it and then poke a thermometer down inside here and see if it actually um, releases any heat. So sometimes a chemical change will release heat too. So if we do get a chemical change, we could see um, some visual changes, but also those changes we can't really see sometimes. So um, temperature change um, could be something. So we got it soaked in our vinegar here and we'll come back uh, to this a little bit later and see if we can observe any changes at all. All right, everybody. Thanks for being here.